for the serious gamer. What the hell is going on? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? It's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. This is a battleground assessment on block. Yes. Well, usually what's going on is there's way too many snipers. Although, this is one of the best maps for sniping, arguably. Uh, other than, what is it, Overgrown, I believe, which is also in the Modern Warfare 2 pack. This one was uh, notoriously a sniper's haven. And what happened was, I mean, you could argue that if there was too many snipers, it would be like uh, what everyone complains about where there's, you know, uh, if everyone camped, no one would kill each other. Well, that's not necessarily true. It's just a slower gameplay, which I don't mind, but, you know, a lot of you guys like the uh, go, go, go. Oh, Don, you and your daily double. Was that a Claymore? So I place a Claymore. I love Claymores. I think Claymores, and yet I get killed by a Claymore. What a maroon. What an idiot. So, typically on this one, I always choose an SMG. The reason being is because there are usually a lot of snipers on both sides. So you can usually go through here and catch them just like that at the other end there trying to snipe. Um, and all they've got is their handgun. Unless they're amazing quickscopers, which in COD 4... You have to be even better. I'm sure some of you, you should comment and let me know how amazing you were in COD 4 at quickscoping. You were like the best, huh? And then everyone give them a thumbs down. <laughs> that was the best. Of course, how can we argue with you? You're just putting words on paper. Or words rather on the video screen. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, so typically what I'm going to be doing... Again, you can see, other than, I mean, there's no point in doing battleground assessment when you've got UAV. It's pretty obvious I'm going for the, for the little red or orange dots. That's where I'm heading. That's the battleground assessment. Look for the red dots and kill them. Oh, see, there's a, always a ton, of, there's a ton of snipers. And it's not that I'm by no means complaining, believe me, I love the fact that there's always a lot of snipers in here. Because if you choose an SMG, it makes it very, very easy work uh, to kill them, because they're usually hunkered down. And in this particular one, it is not easy to do quick scoping, regardless as to what anyone tells you. Um, so typically, they're going to hard scope a lot. There's a, this is where hard scoping's at its best. Um, there, there are quick scopers. I mean, there were quite a few uh, good quick scopers, but... They weren't as prevalent as they were in Modern Warfare 2. There's not as many because it doesn't it doesn't have the sleight of hand pro, I think it was, for the really quick sights. So it didn't allow for that. However, it was still um, you know, there were still those there. And then everyone's you know, when they're, when they're sniping, typically in this one here you're gonna they're gonna try and take a sight line and they're gonna try and hunker down and wait till they can see someone running on the other side. So, that being said, all you have to do is hopefully go away from your team, which you want to be firing. Like, look at this. It's like fish in a barrel, seriously. All you got to do in this uh, particular level here, get an SMG, run away from your team as fast as possible, and typically uh, kitty corners. So, if they're on one corner of the map, you want to go diagonally, and you want to hunt down or try and attempt to sort of uh, penetrate the the enemy lines on the complete opposite. Like, if there's a center point in the map, draw a line from where your people are and go right across that line. Number one, your your teammates are going to draw fire. And as long as you're sort of staying on the perimeter and sneaking your way in there... Oh, you silly little juggernaut. Did you think that was going to help you? Mm-mm. No, you did. Yes, you are. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, juggers. Ha ha ha. That's all right. What can you do? Take down a couple of juggernauts, call it a day. You've done well, my friend. Um, and as I said, the the easiest way, and I'll say it again, and I'll keep on saying it, I'm like a broken damn record. You're like, you know, I'm pretty sure you said that like 10 times already, guns. And I'm getting sick and tired of hearing it. Well, no, you're not, because it's starting to, if you remember me saying it that many times, that means it's getting through your noggin. And that way, you'll remember it. And remember, these these tips aren't for like advanced. I mean, if you're super good, and you're you're writing that in your in the comments, 
then you're obviously probably new to next gen tactics we do tutorial strategy based uh for the average gamer not the i'm so kick-ass and that's the worst strategy i've ever seen because i get like 30 and 1 every single time i play i am a god well then you're just trolling because you're wasting your time that's not what these videos are for these are for the casual gamer, the guy that just comes on once in a while and says, Hey, my buddies are coming over, we're going to get trashed and play a little Call of Duty. Awesome. I'm going to put your allow you to put your brain in, uh, in off mode, and as long as you can remember some of these tips, some of them are going to help you, and you're still going to be able to do well, even when you're drunk out of your head. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. It's not going to help you against elite players like some of the trolls we get. Remember to feed the trolls, guys. If they make silly comments, you must feed them and, and write back. You don't have to be rude, but just like, wow, that's incredible. You're that good? Awesome, man. What's your gamer tag? What's your PSN ID? I want to be your friend. <laughs> it's fun to feed the trolls. They're like our little pets. I've learned to love them. I think you can too. You know what I mean? Especially the really angry ones. There's something wrong with their life. I don't know what happened. Someone gave them a kick in the balls. And they're forever aching, so they're always grumpy or something. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, there's your little Claymore. See, again. Um, you can you can see I'm in the battleground assessment. Ah, it doesn't matter. I got my heli, silly sniper. Ha ha ha. Again, just go opposite your team. Stay away from your team and kind of go across the center line, and you'll do fine. I'm guns for hire. From Next Gen Tactics. That was a battleground assessment. Remember, feed the trolls. Be nice to our little trolls. Here, trolly, trolly, trolly.